Israel's military admitted to have killed three Israeli hostages by mistake during its ground operations in northern Gaza. Rosa Feadu reports. A spokesperson for Israel Defense Forces said that the military mistakenly identified three Israeli hostages as a threat. The mishap caused the troops to open fire and kill the hostages. The military posted the incident on the social media platform X. The IDF made it clear that the incident took place in an active combat zone. The army bears responsibility for the incident and sends the families its heartfelt condolences. It added that all of its troops are now aware of the mistake to serve as a lesson in future combats. IDF believes the three hostages either escaped their captors or had been left behind as a result of the heavy fighting in the area. Before the incident, Israeli soldiers had faced attacks in which Hamas fighters tried to mislead them by using speakers, play crying sounds and toss placed in children's backpacks to lure them into an area full of explosives. The fact of the matter is Hamas has spent the last 16 years embedding itself inside and under civilian areas in Gaza. This is the logic of Hamas's inhumane strategy. By attacking from behind civilians, Hamas seeks to hinder the IDF's efforts to distinguish between civilians and terrorists. However, the complexity of the battlefield will not deter us from our efforts to do so. Meanwhile, the IDF, together with the Israel Security Agency, captured more than 70 armed terrorists at a hospital in Gaza. They have been surrendered to full interrogators for further questioning. The Israeli military recently placed a $400,000 bounty on Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar, even offered money for information on the whereabouts of other top Hamas officials. Minavat Mitelavik, this has been Rasafi Adit, SMNI News, Israel.